I once had it all. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing, but I'm back. Taking what's mine. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations! Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. is at your disposal. My ass. I'm an adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. 
it's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh, it is very specific on the timeline. Uh, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Now that was a conversation I was too sober for. Our sources say 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it, nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? All of these things. I was just looking around and it's... certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. <sighs> well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. Thank you. 
I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. I'd like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else, the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know! <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later.
hell did they fuck up the length? I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. So sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of its harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, There's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, Yes. We caught up with the star.
The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Sorry. Couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together.
No, this is private. Two souls, so passionate, so talented, and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. A home, a wife, a family, peaceful life, betrayal of everything that made them both artists, and yet they clung to it. No, this is pro- We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. understand what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. Just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely.
tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Sharper, sharper. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was... troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The Lady in Black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you.
matter what we did, the fireplace just wasn't enough to warm this room. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. This is fine. This is good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. For a family? Or just for you? Go on! Tip the scales! Paint. had the most beautiful dream last night. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. I think we should drop the Dakota here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. Less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted.
How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. The combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Watch him drown. Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. Body borrowers, feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Always 
felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? In an unexpected experimental streak in his usually conservative endeavors, Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, this is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, for us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. This music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and... Have a responsibility. Finish it. Finish it. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone.
first, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those... How can two people, who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting. I had the most beautiful... No! This is private! Body borrowers feeding on me. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. It must be sharper. sharper. Sharper, sharper. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. It's not like I'm some drunkard. I know how to handle my liquor. the fire in your office just to stop me, don't you? You hate me that much?
Don't push me away. One that had any taste at all! Suddenly everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard. By the flames, finish it. Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. you asked for.
been a while. It took me six months to be able to hold a pen again. Six long and painful months. But I finally did it. It still hurts, but the pain is just bearable enough for me to jot down a few lines. Oh, the things we take for granted. Wow, that's deep. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? I always loved painting blood. Is this the right door for you? Canvas crawlers, mass of pulsating fur, poison to paint, fire. Final solution. Excuses you need to fight the darkness.
that. But here we are. I will protect myself. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. These people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore. up to day. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain my reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I'm done. I'll do it myself. Keeping the house from breaking apart can't be that hard. You understand? I'm working in here! I swear if I'm interrupted one more time... I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. This house is absolutely amazing. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. smile. 
I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Canvas crawlers, mass of pulsating fur. Lice, my spot. It's been a while. It took me six months to be able to. How can two people? No, this. It's not like I'm some drunk. First, I'd look. Harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. I needed to remove the... Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Look, honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times.
I will get you, you furry leeches. Get out of my house. Everything I touch breaks. Blood is sticking out. Solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us. you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you 
wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. Paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in the hideous.
can put it between the books. He'll never find it there. Such determination, such blindness. Silent floaters, they clog the drains. Oh, fur in the water, no baths for me. I'm not like her. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I will finish it. I am to be honest. I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous comments have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to have a second opinion, I would think that 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. 
It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish. Did he... Oh, my God. No, what am I thinking?
merciless light is still light. insane with those candles you will burn we have electricity
This is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it! Alright, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. a jar and a plastic tubing. Suddenly, everything I find bel- I thought I broke- I will get you! Did they fuck up the length?
All I asked for was an edible meal. She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound.
all changed when the daughter was born. Wow. The reward for the most cliche line goes to me. So, I'm here. For a place belonging to posh ass agency, this is weird. If they wanted to have a decor that corresponds with story, they succeeded. It's dark, there are rats, and it's weird paintings. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I felt like it was some fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I'm working soon after I entered. <laughs> I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing. But it turned out that it were only rats. I think. I thought I saw later. I called to let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation. Children change every... Reach for your own experience. I know what it is to be a parent. What changes with a child? Channel it! We had an agreement, a deadline that you prolonged for the third time now. If you don't finish this screenplay, someone else will. Doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful, and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise? Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How?
How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. And now, with my help, it's possible. Do you choose to use it? Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then it is done. Hello? Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Uh, what do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that... That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said, I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. Moths, drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. I needed a jar and he tried to pull himself together. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl.
Why pink? Let her be herself. someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting, immortal. Even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character, and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again? Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. As for your question, my sister tells me that Anne Blackwood is an extraordinary childminder. From what I saw, she deserves such praise.
to move most of the dolls out of her room. It was getting ridiculous. You can't just throw gifts at her whenever you feel guilty for... whatever it is you feel guilty for. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. Are you even playing with? Time for you to choose a side. <laughs> what? What's so funny? If you move it here and here, bam. You beat me again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I even bother. What do you stand to win? some peace and quiet to work. Is that too much to ask? This house is not a playground! <laughs> Your child is barely two years old. It's absolutely normal that she doesn't talk yet. It's not the nanny's fault, and no, stimulating your daughter's mind by reading her Nietzsche is not a good idea. 
For God's sake. Like it, my little bird? Okay, we'll buy it. It will look great on the fireplace, don't you think, honey? I know she adores that toy, but I don't know. Something about it is very unsettling. Maybe it's the way she plays with it. She's not a happy child. It shows sometimes when she plays. It breaks my heart to see it.
course, cutting your hair doesn't hurt, Bertie. as soft as a child's hair. Where did that come from? That's not a good toy... Fluffy fakers, mocking me, lying still between toys, no toys allowed.
this supposed to be funny? If she really endangered your child, then yes, it is reasonable to let go of her. But maybe you should give her one more chance. Mrs. Blackwood does know how to mind children. No. No more chances. No more risk. Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of a once famous painter and a recent widower. Apparently the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn.
Hey, what is that? Wait, what day is it? It's Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work!
this to me. Near the blueberry bush by the Emerald Creek, You're both so sweet. I could eat you right up. Be an example. Finish it! This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing.
He simply wasn't enough. He comes to me at the bottom of the bottle. The horned master of cubism. We drink to the fall of reality. Till the shapes sharpen and I cut myself on the rectangular, infinitely straight edges of my glass, and he retreats to his nest in the iris of my left eye. It's hopeless. I... I just can't take it anymore. I might as well try to paint with both of my arms broken. Art is beauty, writes a painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time. Run!
Art is not about watching. It's about feeling. With all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt. Everything I do, I do to stop thinking. To stop the questions. Is this really the house I know? Where am I? What, what is behind that door? What is behind me? The questions are worse than anything that can actually happen. Arsonists, echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, his paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. I loved him the most when he lost himself. Fucking mutt won't shut up! Hey! I can do that too! <laughs> See? But can you paint? No? Well, that's all right. Neither can I. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone.
tasteless malcontents! In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat? Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling. Uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though. Let 
Professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? And so our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. 
Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration. Hates it. I have to make it perfect. Uh, that's a good question, Peter. In fact, that is a very common misconception. Some people think it's just about putting paint on canvas, but they're wrong. I believe that every detail must exist in the mind of the artist before the first stroke is made. The process itself is more about following these preconceived steps rather than just going crazy with the brush. Personally, I have always perceived it as a ritual. A ritual? Sounds ominous. Not necessarily, though I will admit it carries a certain risk in order to create. The artist must first deconstruct himself, figuratively speaking, of course. If the artist succeeds, what most people see as mere tools of the trade will become the implements of his ascension. Holy artifacts. I wouldn't go that far. Art is often quite beautiful, but the process behind it, rarely so. I need to start practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music.
Floor creepers. Traps in the floor. Devouring my foot. Afraid to walk. Chop, chop! Finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you.
You're so cruel. Art is not about watching, it's about feeling, with all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it, the only way to eliminate doubt.
Only I could help him. Only I can help you.
You deserve this. All of it. All of it. I needed something to add the... How should I put it? Final touches. A finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing a leg. Washed it. Dried it in an oven. Fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So? In the end, what he needed was a sharp focus. He had to finish it. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. 
No more outbursts, no more rambling. Uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though. Home sweet home. Dear utterly despised traitor. Come, you turned on me in time of need. We'll worry about it later. Now you have your prize. Watch our demise. One last spectacle by a half-dead couple. A feast for your ears and eyes. Auditorium is ready. Precious silverware. June, don't forget. Finish. Just a little bit more and it will be finished. Nothing will stop me from finishing it. Just finish it. Find it in yourself and finish it. Finish. Finish. It. There is no other way. Finish. I always strive to be the best friend I can to you. I still do when I say I won't come to this event of yours. And I think you should just abandon this idea. There will be no closure, only pain. On the other hand, it seems it's the only thing you're interested in lately.
Right. Just one more can. And be ready. Look at you. Who's a dead boy? Who's a dead boy? You are. You mind explaining this to me? I know what it is. Care to tell me how it got in my workshop? Stop lying! We both know it couldn't have gotten there on its own. Kill to be able to work. I will! I need to finish it!
have to see it. It won't be finished until you see it. should we choose for the exhibition? A waltz? A march? A requiem. my art in the workshop. The world is my canvas. The work is never finished. She looks at me. Are you sure you'll finish this commission? She asks. Doubt in her eyes. Sometimes I just want to. Let go! You, you, it just isn't right. 
let go. To find greatness. To find... You must embrace me. Don't you answer me! I need something, anything, anything. Some old notes will suffice. I know you're dead, but we both know you're not really gone. Without you, it won't be finished! <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Four ran down. Hickory, dickory, duck. <laughs> Monster, embrace it. You're mine. Vermin growth, cancer of the house. Oh, foul stench. Oh, God, the sounds. You know, even though you are my rival and the source of all my sorrows. You're also the only one I can still talk to. The only one who will listen. I'm not sure if it's funny or merely pathetic. <laughs> Probably both. My love, I wish I could do what all mothers do and tell you that monsters aren't real. But it wouldn't be true. Life can create things of exquisite beauty, but it can also twist them into hideous beings. Selfish, violent, grotesque, monstrous. It hurts me to say that your father has turned into one such monster. And I'm afraid the disease that afflicted his mind has taken hold of me as well. It sickens me to think what we've put you through. There is no excuse. I only ask of you, though I know I do not have the right to do so, to try and forgive us. I despise what your father has become, but I love and pity him all the same. I only hope you can find it in your heart to feel the same about him. About me. I wish I could see you blossom into a strong, beautiful woman. I wish I could be there for you. But I can't. This is the only way. Goodbye. Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. 
God, I am such an idiot. To think that someone like me could ever compete with you in all your sublime beauty, everlasting, immortal. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. Haunting nymphs. Knock, knock, knock. Not gonna let them in. Only clothes left behind. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's mess. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that! Oh god, I'm so... Wait, I'm sorry! I I'm sorry! Think? I should be happy. Why am I not happy? I have a beautiful daughter. I think she is. I know she is. So why can't I look at her without feeling sick? I used to have a loving husband. Wonderful. Sensitive. Now, all I see is this strange man who only cares about his paintings. Like they matter at all. It's all so pointless. Music used to help, doesn't anymore. Oh, 
What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 What have you done? No! I finally figured it out. And it's all thanks to you. You've showed me that there's no other way to open up. Your sad smile confirms what should have been obvious. We will not speak again. Finally, someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it, scooped it up like ice cream, felt like a butcher, a monster. Yes, there was to come something beautiful from all this filth.
We'll get you! Damn rats. They would see the signs. I would. I would. I know it. It's all your fault. My nightmares. Are you really that? <laughs> These just weren't the conditions to raise a child. The fluffy fakers out about. Where is she? Where are you going? it. Now I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. And it was all worth it. Perfection. Him. 
immortality. It was done. He finished it. Or did he? I believe in the end, he knew that one can't make art. A true art. Without cracks. Without breaks and without pain. I... I don't know what happened. I struggle with the part where daughter enters the scene. Too close to home? No. It's this place. This fucking island. This lighthouse. I was afraid and called. The generator died. I went to restart it. I know it happened. And then... Maybe I was high? Or I actually saw my muse and had a conversation with her. Called later, but I didn't have time for it. I knew what to write. The block was gone. I knew how to finish this book. Maybe, deep in his heart, he longed for them. For any presence other than his own. I wanted to thank you for this book. I, I've been struggling with my vocation as an artist, and uh, reading about struggles helped me greatly in arriving at a decision. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing, venerated. It was never true, was it? Even before the debts of desperation, when the book became a hit, I already knew what I lost. I knew who she took from me. Ten years is a lot of time for a person to fail. To hit the bottom. To explore it. And to find the darkest secrets of their craft. I'm coming back there. I'm getting him back.
You know where I'm at, sad man? I'm at your precious lighthouse! Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me! I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words! I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings! I will destroy her. I will get him back! I will write my own story! Thought you got me? Well, guess what? I can write without you. I always could. Is this? Oh my god! How? I guess they ended up here after the ship sank. Despite our previous reminders, the above amount due remains unpaid. We regret to inform you that unless payment is received by... This matter will be passed over to our debt collection agency. his favorite wine. I thought it fitted the occasion. I think I always loved how broken you are. Congratulations on your comeback! We are delighted that after a decade, you still remember about our hermitage. Make yourself at home. I mean, after all, it is the only one you have. What the fuck? Let's get this over with! 